Yahshua said in Luke 10, 16, Behold, I give you power, dunamis, dynamite, to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. That's grace. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Okay, so now look at verse 6. In his days, whose days? Ben Laden? <laughs> whose days? In the branches days, when the branch shows up on earth, when Yahweh's right arm of sustenance, salvation, deliverance comes to the earth, in those days, what days? Those days, the first century, when he showed up on earth as the Lamb of Yah who takes away the sin of the world. In well, his days, Judah shall be saved. Who were the first believers? They were Jewish, amen? Man. And Israel, notice, notice, shall dwell safely. Do you have any Israelites that have come to dwell safely in the Father's hand through the Amen. Messiah? Amen. So notice his mission is not to get some Jews and Gentiles, put them onto a corner and start a church. His mission is to take Judah and bring them salvation, Israel, and get them out of, get them out of all the nations where they're being assimilated and mixed and bring them safely back to the Father as members of the commonwealth of Israel. Yahweh. That's what Yahweh's job, that's what Yeshua's job. Yes. To rescue you from the nations, from all the religions, from all the denominations, bring you back in the Father's hand, reunite Amen. you with your Jewish Amen. brothers, Amen. and Judah is saved, and Israel is safe. Why? Because Yahweh, our righteousness, has come as the branch of David. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Hashem Yahweh. Yes. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at the end of verse 6. Yahweh our righteousness. So this branch of David, this son of David, this Moshiach, would be called Yahweh our yes, righteousness. Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Now we go back to Psalm 48 and 10. I'm going to read that to you. Psalm 48 and 10. According to thy name, Elohim. What's his name? Yahweh. Yahweh. So is thy praise to the ends of the earth. Thy right hand, hello, mm -hmm. is how, full of righteousness. How much righteousness is in Yahweh's right hand? All the righteousness you need for Judah to be saved That's and right. Israel to dwell safely. That's right. Because in his right hand was full of righteousness, not just full of power, but full of righteousness. All Israel that wants to be safe is safe, and all Judah who wants to be saved is saved. Yes. So who is Yahweh our righteousness? His arm. When did that start? Way back in eternity. Amen. When did Yah when did his right arm become his righteousness? Never. Wow. Never. Always his right was. arm always, always was, was his righteousness. Was. Amen. And he sent that righteousness as his word. And his word became flesh. Right. And now he has ascended to the right hand. Not at the right hand, but as so he functions in the spirit now as he did before he was born in Bethlehem. His function is the same. How did he function in the first covenant? As the right hand. How does he function now? As the right hand. Is anyone getting this? Yes. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Now, go with me please to Psalm 77. Psalm Tehillim 77. I'm sorry for all these scriptures. I'm just one of those weird preachers that likes to give you as much Bible. It's been a Possibly. long time. Blame it on the coffee. It's actually. It's been a long time, Rabbi. <laughs> Psalm seven. Psalm seventy-seven. <laughs> Who'd like to read that, Karen? Psalm seventy-seven. Did he name seventy-seven, verse ten? Okay. Verse ten. Psalm seventy-seven, ten. Yes, please. And Did I, he name seventy-seven, ten? And I said, "This is my grief, that the right hand of the Most High has changed." Okay, continue, verse 11. Okay. I remember the deeds of Yah, for I remember your wonders of old. Is anyone getting this? Now look at verse 10. David is in the flesh now. How many know that David got in the flesh, mm -hmm. just like you and me a lot get in the flesh? Right. Oh, how am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to work? How are things going to work out? <laughs> how, are my kids gonna, how are my kids going to call me when they don't have a phone? Maybe my children will never talk to me again. Maybe the Social Security check will get lost this month. It's raining, it's really, and when it rains, you know, the... Social security check gets there late. All these worries, right? Amen? Mm -hmm. Look at verse 10. David is saying, this is my infirmity, but what does David take comfort in? I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. Mm -hmm. I will remember, verse 11, 
the works of Yahweh, mm -hmm. I will remember your wonders of old. What does what does David take comfort in? That the right hand of Yahweh brought the children of Israel into Canaan, yes. the right hand can take care of Yahweh. Yes. This is before Yeshua was born. Yahweh had a right hand. Right. Amen. Right so when, when, they, when you get infirm, when you get worried, when you get sick, when you get anxious, when you get troubled, remember what David remembered. I remember the right hand of old, the right hand of yesteryear, the right hand that took my fathers out of Egypt, the right hand that brought my fathers into Canaan, the right hand that gave my, father, my father's victory over, over the king of Bashan and Amalek. I remember that right hand, and that's the same right hand that will sustain us, trust us, and keep us. Same right hand. If you follow the teachings that you and I were taught, it's like, ooh, the Messiah came, something new, and now we trust in his right arm of salvation. No, this is his works of old. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. What did the children of Israel trust in? The same thing you trust in. They just didn't know, it didn't have a name, Yeshua. Right. Yeah. It didn't have a name. It was just the right arm of, of, of the Papa, yeah. the right arm of Yahweh. What's changed? The yeah. doctrine has changed, but Yahweh hasn't changed. They've Thank taken Yahweh's nice. right arm and made him into another God. Right. And we can sit there all we want and deny that, but that is in essence what our brothers and sisters right. in the church right. believe. Let's be honest. Right. That's what they believe, because they don't know any better. And Jewish people are confused. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. uh, Rabbi, what, what, what does he mean by when he says most high has changed? Okay, in, in verse 10? Yeah. Um, where are we here? I, I, this is my infirmity. This flesh I will remember the works of Yahweh. Ah. Was he worried that Yahweh had changed? Now, what verse are you in, Carrie? In 10? The ten. last, the last one of Read. verse 10? And he was talking. Says most high has his flesh is talking. He says, Most high has changed. Was he worried about Oh, yes, he was worried that Yahweh had changed. Mm -hmm. And then verse 11, he says, But I remember your works of old. Oh, okay. It's like we feel you, Yahweh has forsaken us, but then right. we say, wait a second, he did take care of me last month. Oh, okay. Right. I'm not divorced yet, I'm not, um, I'm, I'm not in the grave yet, I'm not, right. I'm not, uh, right. I'm not, irre you know, right. irreversibly sick yet. So, I think he's changed, but wait a second, I remember his works of right. old. Yeah. Right. So David meditated on his works of old and realized that he right. had changed. Yeshua's name. Amen. Be gone. Oh, Father, Yeshua. please. Rain, gone. Okay. Psalm 80. Tehillim 80, verse number 8. Who'd like to read uh, Tehillim 80, verse number 8? Merle, would you like to help us out? Tehillim 80, verse number 8. Hmm. You brought a vine out of Mitzrayim. You drove out the nations and planted it. Okay, continue. You cleansed the place for it and caused it to take deep root and have filled the land. Okay, now go jump down to um let's see. Are you an eighty? Oh you're an eighty. Okay. No, you're not. You're not. Um verse seventeen. Sorry about that. Verse seventeen. Take your hand. Be upon the one at your right hand, upon the son of Adam, when you made strong for yourself. Oh, boy. When you made strong. Oh, boy. This is interesting. Now, look at verse 17. Okay? Look at Psalm 80, verse 17. Thy hand be upon the man of thy right hand. Who is this man of thy right hand? The son of man at thy, of thy right hand. Sorry. Read, read that for me in the scriptures now. Oh. The son of man, son of Adam. Whom you made strong for yourself. No. Uh, okay, read the whole verse. Merle, verse 17. Verse, uh, chapter, uh, uh, Same one. Psalm 80, verse 17. 17. Let your hand be upon the one at your right hand, upon the son of Adam, whom you made strong for yourself. Okay. Of thy right hand or at thy right hand? What does it say? At? Okay. At your right hand. At your right hand. Okay. At your so right who hand. is the Son of Man as the right hand? Yahshua. 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 Amen. Same thing. That confirms that. Okay. Now, um, 